All right, are we ready for Hurricane Dorian? I'm ready. We're just coming back from Aldi's where we were able to shop. We are completely out of bread, but I scored some apple fritter donuts. Donuts. Necessary for surviving anything. Actually, I could live on donuts. I think we'll be just fine. Our condo association sent out some very helpful emails to help us prepare for the upcoming Hurricane Dorian. Their newsletters were heavy on capitalization, light and, on proper punctuation. And uh, liberally sprinkled with bolded red text. Yeah. Good evening, Imperial Point! This will be comma, capital T. This will be the first of many emails till no apostrophe. The storm has passed us completely. No return break. Dorian is a very serious storm and should not be taken lightly. Now we're bolding the text. The 5 p.m. update has a storm moving slightly south, making landfall anywhere from West Palm Beach to Orlando. Now we get into the meat of the email. Maintenance has closed the laundry room windows in advance of the storm. Period. Lowercase w. We understand people are still using the laundry room and may need to open the windows. The interim property manager will be checking in on the property because we don't even have a permanent property manager throughout the weekend and up until the storm. Once the storm passes, he'll be on property to access, not assess, access damage, clean up debris, and coordinate with vendors, improperly spelled, trying to get life back to comma no space normal again, period. Back to common normal no space. Period. Oof. Have we done anything else to prepare for the hurricane? No. We, false, we bought a new umbrella. We have an umbrella. So, Actually, we bought that before we knew there was a hurricane coming. So that is unrelated. The shaky camera work is not my fault. It's actually the fault of the speed bumps in the condo complex. The speed bumps here are intense. Ready? We're going to take one at full speed. They're known to be the worst bumps in court <coughs> Okay, now we're wow. going to take one at regular speed, like slowing down. I think that might have even been worse. <laughs> It's hard to know. I mean, you gotta just decide whether you're gonna take it in the teeth, full speed, just get it over with quick, uh, or slow down yeah. to almost nothing and crawl over it. It's You still get whiplash either way. It's kind of a lose-lose situation. Is that why there are so many chiropractors in South Florida? It's possible. It's also deceptively sunny for the fact that the world's about to end in a deluge of water, akin to Noah's luck. Or so CNN would have us believe. Staying home seems easier because it involves doing nothing rather than driving for eight hours but if the power goes out and, i am gonna be a grumpy one and there won't be espresso oh no there won't be frozen goods oh no there won't be the ability to make warm or hot food okay let me list out what liam's and, gonna miss okay. no video games no video games no video games okay so when you say debris that means it has two s's no, it's actually properly spelled. I oh. just wanted to say debris. I see. Okay. 